Welcome everybody to another talk from this time. I am delighted to introduce um, a short presentation from Arabai Vijaya Raghavan, who is reader in nanomaterials at the University of Manchester to the right. And in the middle, you have um, Bodil Outshorn, uh, who is footwear product manager at Innovate. And um, both will tell us a bit more about their graphene enhanced rubber and foam shoes for no compromise running. Please, okay. Aravai, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Christoph. Uh, so, yeah, thanks again for the opportunity to present in this very interesting forum, which is a new experience, I think, for me in this kind of a presentation. So, um, I will talk to you today about uh, the product that we have jointly developed with Innovate. Uh, for these running shoes, which have now been on the market uh, for a couple of years. So I will talk first about the scientific uh, uh, underpinnings of this project for the first uh, seven or eight minutes, and then I'll hand over to Bo to talk about the actual product. Uh, in my group in Manchester, we do quite a lot of work on graphene composites development. So I'll just quickly go through the uh, history of this, starting with our graphene production. So we make um, graphene oxide and functionalized graphene, graphene nanoplatelets in my lab. And um, in keeping with the fact that we do quite a lot of applied work, we actually also invested in a certain degree of scale up in the graphene production. So for example, we have a five liter graphene oxide reactor and so on. So we produce the graphene in my lab. We also have um, extensive graphene characterization capabilities within uh, the university. Uh, so any graphene we produce or any external graphene we use for that matter goes through a whole range of different thorough characterization techniques such as uh, uh, microscopy, SEM, AFM, TEM, spectroscopies like optical absorption, Raman, XPS. So all, all the graphene material gets thoroughly characterized. Um, what we also do in my group uh, uh, quite a lot is tailoring the graphene material. So uh, tell me, this is just one example of uh, different ways by which we can functionalize the graphene by grafting some polymers onto the graphene oxide in order to get various different surface chemical functionalities and different behaviors. And this is just one example. We have a wide range of different examples of how we tailor and modify the graphene surface uh, to, in the case of composites, to tailor the interaction between the filler material, which is the graphene or graphene oxide, and the matrix, which would be the rubber or whatever elastomer that we are working with, in order to for the graphene to impart its characteristics to the matrix appropriately. So then uh, the actual work with regards to rubber in my group started uh, six or seven years ago. Uh, we started working on natural rubber latex, which was a nice system to work with because it's an aqueous dispersion. And we have graphene oxide, which is also an aqueous dispersion. So they are quite compatible with each other. And we use a process called dip molding um, to produce samples. Um, so this is the way we started. These are thin film uh, samples of uh, polyurethane and natural rubber latex with uh, graphene in it. And if the shape is familiar to you, this is uh, because this started with the Bill Gates uh, graphene condoms project. So that's what basically kicked this off. Um, and then um, in terms of the historical perspective, so we published a paper uh, about this work and uh, some of the other things we are doing with elastomers and uh, that caught the attention of Innovate basically because we showed the improvement in the properties of uh, rubber that we could achieve. And that's the point at which Innovate contacted us and said, okay, so what can uh, graphene do for the rubber in our shoes? So um, the other sort of uh, samples and materials that we have worked with in the past, we've uh, done other kinds of thin films through other casting methods. We've also produced, for example, O-rings with different uh, shapes, O-ring shapes with different loadings of graphene in it and tested the properties. Um, you can also, of course, produce some thicker films. So these are hundreds of micrometers thick compared to tens of micrometers in the previous samples, thin film samples that I showed you. So these are uh, natural rubber films, which are hundreds of microns thick with different loadings of graphene oxide. And then also 